oh, the leads are bad, right? The leads are bad. (laughs) We're going to turn this off or we're not going to spend this money because the leads are bad. Hey guys, Ryan Steinelson here with Accelerate Marketing. And today I've got Laura Lee with Legal Marketing Maven. She's been in the digital marketing space for 40 years, marketing for attorneys. She adds so much value to our clients that we work with. I even hesitate to take on a client before they talk to Laura Lee, especially if they are a estate planning or elder, you know, a, attorney client of ours. Because if we're going to be sending leads to these businesses, whether you're a service-based business, an HVAC, a plumber, et cetera, you know, it's important to have a Laura Lee on your team because she can help you make use of those inbound calls. If you get a ton of inbound calls, but you don't know how to convert them, then it's a little bit of a challenge. And so I'm going to let you, Laura Lee, just talk a little bit about yourself. We're a full service marketing agency, but we also serve as fractional CMO for estate and elder law firms. So in that capacity, you know, I, I work with firms that are working with a multitude of vendors and we were working with a mutual client and I was working with your team and we were seeing these results. And at the beginning, it was kind of the same thing that we hear sometimes even with the marketing that we do. Oh, the leads are bad, right? The leads are bad. (laughs) We're going to turn this off or we're not going to spend this money because the leads are bad. And so what I do is I dial in and I start listening to the calls. I start seeing what's really happening. And 99.9% of the time, it's not the lead that's bad. It's that the intake person just doesn't know how to convert it, especially when it comes to law firms. When I ask them, where does most of your business come from? Oh, it's from referrals. So their team is really good at converting somebody that says, hey, Joe Smith told me to give you guys a call to do my estate plan. When you have a cold lead, it's a different conversation and you really have to lead with value and they have to be trained that and it's a sales technique. So I help them develop those skills, help them craft the scripts, help them understand the value that they're giving to the client. And then suddenly we turn the ads on and we're getting good leads now. (laughs) (laughs) And what I love about, you know, working with your team and how we kind of connected was we were getting results, right? The Google profile was going up. I was tracking the results. I was tracking clicks and conversions and the LSA clicks and conversions. And I was like, wow, these guys are really delivering on their promise. If you're in a small to medium sized business, this is what really needs to be done. In my opinion, fix your intake team first, your lead conversion strategy first, get that in place. I just turned down a client from starting with us because you need to know your conversion process first and have a system for it before we start doing lead generation. Because I know what's going to happen. They're going to think exactly what you said in the beginning, that it's not working you know, and so if I want to keep somebody long term, which is what we do, unfortunately, I had to say goodbye to a client that I've had for 14 years. You know, this guy, he's a fire protection company here in South Florida, and he's retained us for that long. And he just sold to Cintas for a huge multiple because he did what I'm going to tell you guys to do here in a second. He has a great intake team, first and foremost. And then secondly, he is focused on where 70 to 80% of people are still searching the 10,000 pound gorilla out there, Google. And that's where you can get free inbound phone calls as long as you do the optimization. So what are your thoughts? Uh, 100%. So if you're looking for a dentist, a doctor, a plumber, an electrician, and you go to Google, you're going to look to see who's coming up at the top. And then you're going to look how many reviews do they have. And then you're going to click the reviews and look at them. The guy that I was telling you about a second ago that was with us for 14 years, he had more reviews than Cintas does as a Fortune 500 company. So Cintas bought his company and less has more than 1,200 reviews. And this is why they purchased 
Les's company at such a high multiple. It's one of the big reasons. So the other thing that you really need in place is a system and a process for gathering those testimonials. It shouldn't just be willy-nilly, oh, I asked John to leave us a testimonial today. It should be something that happens every single time you work with a client or customer. Every single time. It's baked in. It's a part of the process. When either you or someone from your team goes, would you do me a favor? Tomorrow you're going to get an email from us and it's going to have a link. Could you please click that link? and leave us a review, they'll start sending it out and they're like, or leave this really works. I'm like, wow, you know, imagine that. hundred <laughs> percent. We call that a, a reviewable moment that happens. And we've got mm-hmm. what we call a, a, a window of reciprocity, meaning you've got a window of opportunity of about an hour from mm-hmm. when somebody has identified that they've had a great experience with your business. When you're belly to belly with somebody and you ask them, When they've had a great experience and you say, give us what we call a 2W testimonial, what benefits you've received and then why you would recommend us. And then typically what they'll do is they'll say, okay, how do I do that? A lot of times they'll just give you their phone and say, you know, can you show me? So the key is to actually know beyond the shadow of a doubt how to find your business on other people's phones, Mm -hmm. as crazy as it sounds, and help them find your business on Google Maps. All you got to do is go to Google Maps, type in the business name, find it, and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see where it says reviews. That's as simple as it can be. And if you know how to do that, then you'll be able to get a lot of reviews. By getting those reviews, it helps your business rank not only in the Google business profile section down below or the Google Maps, it also helps you rank in the Google local service ad section. This is something that a lot of people don't know is that those reviews are shared between both of those assets. It's a great strategy. It makes up about 20 to 30% of the overall ranking factor for both your local service ads page and your Google business profile page. So just keep that in mind, guys. There's a lot of weight that Google places on those reviews and how many you have. And I know you just went to the AI event. What do you find there? What I see coming is is not a replacement of humans, but freeing us up so that we can focus on the more human elements, right? And like you mentioned earlier, there's so much being automated now that I feel like we need to dial back a little bit and remember to put those human touches in because the human touches are what's going to set us apart, right? I agree. And this might be a a way that you can compete with higher volume firms is with the human touch and by Mm -hmm. leveraging some of these tools that would allow the people in your firm Mm -hmm. to do more important things or things that are of higher value. Yeah. Some of the biggest problems that some of my firms have is having that person that can answer the phone when their normal person is busy or when their normal person is out or after hours or whatever that might be. So here's the dirty little secret that these call services have is they answer 99.9 or almost basically 100% of the calls. Okay. That, that's good. The problem is, is that 30% of them go to musical. That's the problem. And mm-hmm. when that happens, Google knows. And it counts that call as being not answered. They're actually harming your Google local service ads rankings. It's causing you to get fewer leads. And with AI now, you can have a artificial intelligence agent that sounds like a human being to pick up the phone and go through some very specific questions and qualify that person. And once they're qualified, they can either book an appointment, they can transfer the call to one of three or four or five people, mm-hmm. and you can have even case follow-up. That per AI can actually do outbound phone calls as well in order to get follow-up information. And that's what creates a great experience. And that's what Google wants. You give Google what it wants, Google will give you what you want, which is more leads. And if you guys have any questions, you know, how do they, how do they reach you? It's just very easy. Go to legalmarketingmaven.com and there's a button right there that says 
hey, I'd like to have a cup of coffee and, and chat. I love to talk marketing and and systems and processes and and growing estate and elder law firms. It's what I do. Our agency's been around for 20 years and we have all of these systems built out. So the leads that don't convert right away, don't just let them die, right? Don't just put them in a CRM and they never hear it from you after the first week of follow-up, which hopefully you're doing. Continue to nurture. So we have lots of different campaigns and resources, and I would love to you know, talk to anybody that's looking for that type of support. I feel so much more confident knowing that our clients are working with Laura Lee because I know that the leads that we're sending are going to be counted. They're going to be converted. Almost every client that we take on, we make sure that they have a call tracking platform put in place, either call rail or go high level or something or ring central so that we can be held accountable for the optimization that we're doing to show that we're giving you an increase in phone calls yeah. and, and, and leads. You really want to work with somebody that specializes in a campaign type like Google local service ads because we've created a software that connects through an API to the Google local service ads platform. And we get special information. If you want to open a new location, et cetera, we can tell you where there's the least competition and the most opportunity based on searches on the local service ads platform. So I hope that helps. I mean, if there's any other questions, you know, thanks for hanging with us. Thanks so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you soon and with one of our joint clients. <laughs> 100%. Bye-bye.